Evening everybody, and welcome aboard the SS Skoma by GB Danny. I will link her in the description to this video, and I'm, uh, yeah, I suppose we should go on a tour, get us started. So, here, beam engine, jutting out of the deck, not sure how common that was. Down here is the way to the engine room through this very nice, very fancy staircase. And here is the boiler. Light the boiler. Get some steam going. Through here is the cargo hold, which is incredibly big and incredibly spacious. Lots of things. Can't get out through there. Or there. Now, let's get back on. Actually, not. I'll have a look at this engine for a minute. It does look incredibly interesting. Um, through here, tiller room. Yeah, this is the tiller room. Over here is another cargo hold with cargo doors. Wouldn't want to leave those open in a potential sinking scenario, would you? Got a pump boiler. And a pump. Chain locker, not very locked up. Out here, we come onto the forecastle. This is the captain's bedroom, incredibly fancy. With his cupboard, with his equipment in there, with his desk and his clock, a bed, corridor, and I believe No, I think it's broken. Crying shame. We'll come back to that later. Under here, he's got himself a little clothing drawer. Over here is where the junior officers sleep. Um, more clothing. Access to the deck. Over here, we've got deck hands. Um, painting of a ship, and we've got toilets, and taps. Let's shut those, shall we? Now, through here we have the senior deckhands. Oh, the poor saps, they have a bunk bed. We've got the stokers or firemen. We've got the shovels on the wall, firefighting equipment. We've got the lockers. We've got the seats. I'm assuming there's more stoker accommodation somewhere. No. In here, there's more deckhand accommodation with another painting of a ship. I think that's a lake freighter. In here we have the officer's galley, with your wine glasses, I think, and your clocks, and your lights, books over here. Want to sit down, have some lunch? That's the place to be. Over here, I'm assuming, is the general mess, or general galley, for all of the poor people, you know. So, since we've got steam up, how about we take it to sea? So, it's up here. And into the wheelhouse. Map table, turn that on. 
interior lights, exterior lights, navigation lights, maybe not exterior lights. Oh, it's got a functioning telegraph system. You see, we are underway. Leaving the multiplayer island base, and the beam engine is actually engining. Got a flywheel over there. Let's have another look about. Let's have a look about up here. So on the boat deck we have lifeboats, obviously. We've got a skylight thing. We've got a rotating beam engine. Let's actually have a let's actually make our way down to the engineering spaces and make sure everything's running smoothly. Got electrical breakers, propeller shaft, got steam operated bilge pump. Very nice. Sneaky. Can't show that on YouTube. I'll have to cut that bit out. There you are, that's our automatic coal feeder doing its job. room and we sink her. Or the first mate's room, actually. Let's turn up the weather a bit, shall we? A little bit of rain never hurt nobody. good way to be. Yeah, broadside to the wave isn't exactly a great place to be. Yeah. SOS. We're, we're sinking and the waves are scary. I can't swim. Help. Oh, that's not a good noise. Something's broken. Oh my. Oh my. That's not, that's not very... I wouldn't say that's a very healthy angle for a ship to be at, is it? That'll sort itself out, no problem.
now do, do we have watertight doors? I don't suppose we would, would we? The engine's... The engine's just broken. have a bilge pump. There is no bilge pump in here. Goodness. Um, well, I mean, since we're clearly not using the steam for the main engine anymore, I suppose we can switch on the engine room bilge pump. Do things. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Oh goodness me, that's not good. This isn't very healthy. Oh good. Oh god. Oh goodness. Boilers have just exploded. Let's try and launch a lifeboat and save our asses before... At least we're quite close to land. Should be fine. Just out of courtesy, let's stop the engines. My boat's not working. Foxhole door open, should I? Eh, it'll be fine. It's the worst that can happen. What's that down there? That is. That's a lot of water. That is cargo blue taken to the extra. Okay, okay, not good, not good. I did something stupid. Great Central Glory has just done something incredibly stupid. I don't know who could have thought it. Oh, Jesus. I should probably start praying to whatever deity there is. That I don't fucking die. Yep, I think now would be a very good time to get the hell out of here. Release them. Go. Go. No! No! Oh lord. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, I just bloody dropped, didn't it? Get to shore. Get to safety. All right. 
we're on show, we're safe, we're safe. That's, that's really, that's really scary. Right, I'd say that about does it for this episode of Stormworks. For once, Captain Birdseye is not drowning or waiting to be eaten by sharks. He is safely on shore, gazing out at his ship. Please do like and comment if you want to see more like this, and uh, I shall see you in the next video.